I'm looking so yellow today for no reason. Like, what's going on? Good morning, everybody. Let me fix you guys up because you guys are a little too low for me. But today, I'm going to be attempting. And I say attempting because if it doesn't work, don't come for me. I'm going to be attempting to build a bookshelf that I got at Target. And I've been looking for this bookshelf for like literally weeks since we moved into here. So the fact that I was able to snatch it and grab it and take it and swipe the card was just excellent. It really just soothed the soul for me. <laughs> I am currently trying to get ready. So yes, I look like a hot mess. I think it's also the lighting in here is really ridiculous because my skin looks so yellow compared to my, like my face looks more yellow than my skin, but it's gonna be fine, trust me. Anyway, <laughs> um, I have a lot to do today. I recently got a walk earlier today and I'm gonna be making some fried rice. We're gonna be whipping that up and I can't wait, so. But yeah, I'm gonna get ready. And then um, after the fact, I will probably start cleaning the house or more likely building the um, the bookshelf. I'm probably gonna build the bookshelf after I clean the house, but it's looking a little messy in here. So we have to do what we have to do today. And today's my day off. So typically on my days off, I usually get them to clean the house and get everything ready. I also film my videos on Thursdays and Sundays, which are my days off because I won't be able to do it during the week when I'm working. All right, so I did go ahead and finish my makeup. I think it looks good. See, the, it was the lighting. It was definitely the lighting because now I feel like I look kind of better, don't I? It looks so cute. I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to put you guys down just because I have a lot to do today. Like I said before, um, I did go to the store and get a couple of things, which I'll show you guys here. So like I said, I did end up getting a couple of things. I got a walk, the Imusa walk. This is the brand that I was telling you guys. I don't know if I even told you guys about this, but I literally the holy grail of making rice is those inusa like caldero pans they're like silver aluminum pans if you have nothing to make your rice with you need to get them i'm telling you it just makes your rice taste so good and it makes it perfect but i i wanted to walk i've been wanting to walk for a while and i ended up getting the inusa one i think it's the 14 inches it says right there um but it goes with the aesthetic the black the wood the silver i am much more of a gold person but the silver in the apartment does not bug me so i'm thinking of making like fried rice today just because it's been something that's been on my mind um and i tried to find the soy sauce that i typically use this soy sauce i feel like it's so good I, it tastes way better than any other soy sauce that i've gotten it's the lee kum ki i'm probably butchering it but um it's the less sodium soy sauce they didn't have them at the store so i had to get this one Cause the La Choy one, I don't like that one either. I feel like it's too much. Um, so hopefully we'll see. I still have enough in here to use for today. Um, but I also did end up getting some rice. Is this like a grocery haul? <laughs> um, they didn't have medium grain rice, so I had to get long. And carrots, cause I love carrots in my fried rice. The little green onions. I got a white onion, some chicken so that I can cut up to put in the fried rice. Not that I like soda, but like I feel like I need something kind of like soda. So when I was younger, I used to drink these a lot. These are so good. They're the sparkling ice. It's the pink grapefruit flavor, and they're so good. Like I'm telling you, if you crave like soda, but you don't want to drink it, this is kind of like similar. Obviously, it doesn't have caffeine in it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's no caffeine, but like it's five calories. There's no sugar in here. Um, but it does have vitamin A and vitamin C and vitamin B12 biotin um vitamin b6 it's got some good stuff in here i would say but they're so good i got six of these because i don't know i've been on like a kick lately of drinking them and uh, usually i just drink water but for some reason i i think it's because i'm getting my period i don't really know <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna go put put these away um i did also end up getting a bookshelf which i'll show you guys right now what it looks like so this is the bookshelf that i ended up getting i don't know if you guys can properly see what it looks like it looks kind of like that um like i told you guys before i want something for right here um because it's so empty so i was thinking of maybe putting the bookshelf right here um and then putting some plants i'm gonna get my magnolia book here soon um and just decorate it because i like i said before i want to decorate this apartment and it's happening it's happening <laughs> 
I don't think I ever showed you guys like an update though of this apartment. Um, I have done a lot of stuff since you guys last saw me. Um, so I got a mirror, I got the rug. I ended up switching my rug like three times. The first rug was just too small. The second rug was just too much blue. And I kind of want something that's more like creamy, brown tone, um, light and airy. And I feel like I kind of got it with this, even though I had to wait five years for my fucking rug. I just feel like things are finally coming together in this apartment. It makes me feel good inside. <laughs> Okay, so don't mind the mess here. I am planning on cleaning after I do this, but um, right in front of the door, again, I told you guys that I wanted a mirror right here, so I ended up putting this one, and I do want to get like a bench for right here, so I'll do the bench with like two pillows. Um, it'll look very cute, I think. Everything as far as this corner is still the same. Um, I did end up getting this rug for the, um, the living room. I feel like it goes good together. Obviously, I haven't cleaned everything, so I'll show you guys what it looks like at the end. Um, but this is the rug. I like how it just has like hints of blue. It's not like fully blue, and it's giving cream. It's giving brown. It has like lighter peachy tones, if you can see. Um, so I'm really happy with it. And then, of course, I ended up putting the paintings up. They look really good on the wall. We had to have my boyfriend's grandparents come to help because we suck at putting up paintings. So I think they look good. I think they're kind of like crooked. So I have to fix it, like the middle one. But it looks pretty good. And the dogs in the kennel because they don't listen. <laughs> don't worry, I literally just took them out. I typically put them in here when I get home from um, like going somewhere because they just get a little too crazy so it helps them calm down. But Tootsie, how are you doing, my Chewy? Are you okay, my Chewy? Vito, he's so cute. And there goes Leo with his little corn. <laughs> okay, so in the room I have done a couple of things. It's not like major changes though, but I don't have a bed frame yet. Wait, I did put these frames on here, which I know some people are gonna be like, why are you not having anything in the middle of the bed? Because my bed frame is supposed to get here. Um, we still haven't ordered anything yet, obviously, because um, we're still trying to figure out what we want, but I really like the idea of putting the paintings right here. I chose that one for myself just because it's a little more girly. You know, it's got the flowers, and then for Jake's side, his is more so just like a, a basic clean look. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like once we do have the bed frame here, um, like I'm going to get like a tall bed frame, so it's probably going to go up to like right here. It'll look really good, you know? And then, of course, I do want to put some stuff on the um, nightstands, but that's pretty much it for the room. I mean, I do have my closet that's still a little messy because those hangers on the floor. I did, first of all, want to get the hangers all the same color, but for now, it is what it is because we do have white. And then, of course, some of them are like different colors, but I'm liking how things are looking in here for now. I did end up getting that stool um, just because... I can't reach anything, so that's gonna help me get all the stuff that's up there. Um, but for now, if anything, I might do like an organization type of video, um, cause I want everything to look good. <laughs> I'm sick of myself. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and organize my fridge. I don't have a lot of stuff in the fridge. It's just like I have to definitely do a lot of shopping, but I just haven't had time yet. Um, if anything, I'll probably do like a little haul of when I end up going grocery shopping because when I buy groceries, guys, I spend a lot of money. <laughs> I'm not kidding. girl did a little cleaning um is this kind of cute the thumb so cute <laughs> i ended up reorganizing the apartment because it was looking a little dirty but i fixed up the couch i ended up putting a lot of stuff away i still have to put away the walk but aren't these kind of cute these little sandals um jake say papa bear and mine are 
mama bear they're kind of cute <laughs> we chose to get these because we don't have any house shoes but i am literally going to attempt to build this bookshelf wish me luck because at this point you know i'm not bob the builder wilma the builder we Maddie's the builder mm, we're about to see <laughs> this freaking bookshelf is so heavy but we're about to see if i can open it and build it like a like a box knife i just have like a random knife that i'm oh my god this was a mistake i should have waited for him to get home to do this but i want to be productive today because i feel like he always does everything as far as like building stuff but <laughs> So basically what I did, I just like literally slipped this in half right here because if not, I wouldn't have been able to do it. But, okay, we're gonna have a mess in here, boys. Down here so far is a lot of foam. I'm not gonna be able to do this myself, my friends. I don't know what I was thinking. We are getting somewhere. <laughs> okay, so I'm assuming these are like the side parts for the, like the railings on the side. I'm honestly a little excited. One thing that we were worried about was that it would be too dark, but I feel like with the cabinets, like you guys have already seen my apartment for those of you who saw me like empty apartment tour but you know that my cabinets are like not as light i think these are gonna go really well together i don't know because so i'm going for like a, a lighter but a darker look in here if that makes sense i don't want everything to be too dark but at the same time i don't want everything to be too light you know i think it'll work though it looks pretty good this did come with some sort of utensils here so we're gonna really see because i've never done anything like this by myself usually i have jake help me but i want to be productive today and it looks like they came with some sort of instructions i'm assuming with the letters that are on the uh different pieces it'll concord with yep okay oh man we're about to get to work and see how this works <laughs> Okay, so I just built both of the sides um, of the bookshelf. Now all we gotta do is put everything else together. I haven't put any screws in yet just because I first have to put them in before I put the screws, obviously. Who wouldn't know that we'd modis relax? <laughs> but yeah, now all I have to do is put all these pieces together. So like you can see on here, um, these little pieces, you just gotta put them together. And we're done. I still don't have anything to put on the bookshelf, but um, we're gonna see because if anything, I'm probably gonna put some of the plants that I have back there um, on the bookshelf and then I'll have to buy everything else. Okay, so now I have to do this side, which this is taking me so long. I had to undo this part of it. I don't know if you guys can see, but I had done it backwards, so the screws were not like aligning. But one thing that really pisses me off is that there's some scratches already on here. And I didn't do that myself, friends. I did not. There's scratches. And then also this right here, will that bug you? Because that's bugging me. Like the screw was not even in the right spot. <laughs> A few moments later. It literally took me only almost two hours to finish this freaking bookshelf, but it's done. And all I have to do now, yes, the dogs are in the kennel because if I were to le leave them out, it would be a whole mess. So all I have to do now really is put it up. And if I find anything around the house that I can put on it, I'm probably gonna do that. But <sighs> I guess here we go. It's really heavy and Honestly, the amount of time that I took to even put this together is laughable, disgusting, humiliating, um, disrespectful, like, 
I wasn't expecting to be Bob the Builder today, but apparently that's who I am. Oof, it looks cute. It's just the fact of the front piece is, oh my God. This little piece right here that is like lifted is in the front, so I might have to unscrew each of them and then flip it around, oh God. I finally finished the freaking shelf. Like I'm so exhausted at this point, Bob the Builder. No, thank you, you can have your job back because I am tapped out, I'm done. It looks cute and everything, it's just the whole hassle of having to swap the shelves and then, like the scratches are really bugging me. Would they bug you? They're bugging me, they're really bugging me because I spent money on them and now they're scratched. It is what it is, honestly, you know what? At this point, I'm just happy we have completed the shelf because now Jay can come home and look at it and see how beautiful it is. But next time I'm definitely gonna wait for him because he's more faster with these things. It took me two and a half hours to complete this. Never again. Would not recommend. I'm damn near exhausted and I haven't ate anything all day and it's like 4 p.m. So I should probably get some food. It's almost 10 p.m. and I'm barely making fried rice. <laughs> Got home from work. All right, so right now I'm waiting for the wok to heat up. Um, I did put some oil in here. I'm about to fry up the egg, and then after the fact, I'll probably start the chicken and then do everything else. Put some garlic butter in here with a little oil. And now I'm gonna throw the chicken in here really quickly. I just gotta make sure this is... I made my own garlic butter, by the way. using any sort of vegetables that I already have, which is not gonna be a lot, but it is what it is at this point. Throwing in some peas, some corn. Okay, I'm gonna just start throwing everything in now, um, starting with the rice and then I'll go from there. I did want bean sprouts in here, but I don't have any. I throw in the egg and chicken mixture as well. This should hopefully make it a little more filling. Now I'm gonna start adding some soy sauce in here so it can come alive a little with the color because it's looking a little bland currently. <laughs> like I mentioned before, this is the one that I use. There we need to add more, I'll probably add a little more. I am gonna also add some sesame oil. But a little, because this is very strong, I would say. I'm gonna add in a little green onion. With rice, it's literally trial and error. Like, you literally have to keep tasting it until you get your desired result. But I am done, and now we're about to eat, finally. It's only, you know, 10.48. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> I'm sick of myself. <laughs> Ew, what are you doing? All right. So I finally made it. I haven't made fried rice in a while, but it's steaming out of the bowl. What do you think? Is it decent? Does it suck? That's good. Everything she makes is delicious. Period, the chef in the house. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat and finish my rice. And I do wanna thank you guys for watching. If you do have any suggestions, leave it down in the comment section below, but I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.